Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your iPhone, iPad, and potentially the latest iOS. So let's get started. Go right into your settings. In your settings, you're going to see your first option, which says your name or your device name. Just make a backup there using your iCloud. If you have no more iCloud space, then go ahead and hook up your device directly to your computer and make that backup there. I would also like to highlight if you have any problems with the update, just not showing up or anything like that, you can also update it through your computer on iTunes or on Finder in Mac. Anyways, right now, our second option does say software update. However, not everybody's going to see that. So let's just scroll down and we're going to tap on general. Under general, second option will say software update. And right here, we should see the latest update, which yes, it's iOS 15.3.1. Let's just tap on download and install. Once you tap on download and install, it's going to do exactly that. It's going to download the update and then it's going to install it. During the installation process, your iPhone, iPad or touch will turn off and on again. So you're just going to reset and then you're going to be good to go. It's a really small update, nothing to worry about. However, make sure that you have enough battery life. And even if you do, I would still suggest to hook it up some electricity so that way it's charging whenever you're running any updates, even if you're 100% off your battery, especially, especially with older devices. Anyways, at this point in time, you could just leave your device just to be, it's just going to restart by itself. It would just install everything again by itself we did what we had to do right now. And it's a good thing that you have automatic updates turned off because you don't ever want to wake up and then see maybe that your phone or your tablet's not working. You have no idea why. And it might be because he updated by itself during the nighttime, which is usually when they do that. When they're hooked up some electricity, they're charging up. It's nighttime. They just run any updates that need to be done. And yes, it's convenient, but at the same time, you don't know what's going on. And you might not know why something's not working anymore, which does include certain apps. However, with most and major apps, they're always keeping up to date with whatever iOS is coming up and they're usually compatible. As of now, all we can do is just wait. Once it finally downloaded the update, we can just tap on install now. Once we do that, it's going to verify the update. It's just going to restart. We're going to see the Apple logo and a loading bar. So right after the Apple logo and loading bar, it's just going to restart once and you're going to see this. You're all up to date. Scroll up. Once you scroll up, you're just going to see this and settings. We're just going to check that everything went OK. So back into general, back into software update and we should see. Yeah, we're all up to date. We are all done with this video. Anyways, if you have any comments, questions, you can write them down here in comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.